So my original plan was to do 150 panels or get knitters to do that um, because of the 150. Dale Cox has been knitting since she was a little girl. I wanted something to do while I was watching TV. I needed something to take to the cottage. She's also one of Georgetown's most community-minded residents. So it was no surprise to anyone that Dale wanted to combine both things into a way to honor our country's 150th. Then I thought, well, for Canada 150, why don't we do them in red and white? She figured she'd get a couple of knitting friends involved and maybe together they could knit enough squares to make 10 blankets. But suddenly, a pile of a few squares grew and grew and grew. And so did the number of knitters and crocheters who wanted to be involved in the project. They'd say, oh, well, I'm a knitter. I can help. So it's like, that's fantastic. And it just it exploded on its own. Almost too big to imagine. Before they knew it, they had more than 175 participants and over 1,750 of these individual panels. They needed some help, and luckily the local yarn store had been involved with the project since the beginning, and they'd been organizing charity blanket donations for years. They agreed to help get the knitted squares sewn into blankets. In November, we make the phone call to the local charities, and they'll come in and take them and give them out to the, the people that need them. Well, now that they are just a few hundred panels away from more than 2,000, they thought, why not knit together an even bigger goal? So now the year 2017 plays an even bigger role. And my husband piped up and said, no, 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 it's got to be 2017 panels. And I thought that was totally unattainable. Totally surprised. I'm overwhelmed by the idea. But to accomplish their goals, they are hoping to get even more participants. If you would like to help, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Georgetown, Audra Brown, City News.